Hey guys, I just want to talk about just the elixirs and the perks and Black Ops 4 Zombies. I'm I'm just complaining like a little bit, just how how I'm going through all this uh, uh, strategy to level up faster. I'm almost to Prestige 8, surprisingly, and it's currently so late, but it's worth it. So when I get to Master Prestige, I don't have to care so much about... Leveling up that much because I have all the time in the world because I'm asked to proceed and get to 1000. So that's whenever, but yeah. So let's talk about the perks and all that. So let's go to create a class. So I don't like how they did the classic, al classic elixirs. Eh, it's kind of hard to get used to calling that. It was perfect before. Um, before I try to patch this, that the cooldown rate for all elixirs, only the classic ones, are f for 15 minutes, which is ridiculous. But I found out if you use the elixir points drop, it it comes back right after right after the next round, or right not even the next round. Like right after you use it, it's gonna pop up immediately. Like the cooldown rate for that one is not 15 minutes. When I found this out, I'm like, try it, what the heck? Like they made every single one of these elixirs 15 minutes, but not the point drops 15 minutes. It's just one, like one and done and can be used the next round while your other classic elixirs take like, like the half of like the 10 minutes for re from recharging from what you use. I don't find myself using anything else. Because now I change how I felt about using Aftertaste. They they nerf it so much. It says instant activation. Last 5 minutes or 1 down. Keep all perks. Like Aftertaste wasn't time based for 15 minutes. It's just you equip it. And it will be gone while after you get down. And now they just nerf the heck out of Aftertaste. Which to the point which makes very useless. Because if you put it on just in case. It won't. It'll go way, way fast. Will pass by. Five minutes will pass by really fast. So the point, like, you you thought you had it, but no. I think she's just immediately goes away. I don't find myself using anything else. Head scan is an okay type of elixir. Headshot chance. Equipment mid, it's good. Burnout, it's good, I guess. Anywhere over here, they could have replaced this with something else, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Temporal gift, it's, it's actually actually good to be a classic, um, classic elixirs. Points drop is just, I guess it's fine, like you're sharing points with your friends, but I don't see myself always using that. And this one, this one's ridiculous, but it's anti-entrapment, immune to player, player in Hanted trap damage. So if someone activates a trap, a friend, so let's say one of my teammates activates trap and I go through it, I get die. I die. But if I have this elixir on, it won't um it won't hurt me. Like I'll be immune to it. I found that pretty pointless. But sure, sure, I don't know. This one's actually a good elixir. Now we're but there. It teleports you to down player's location, so it's actually pl pretty good. And you and I kind of and I kind of felt like okay with this. Like it should be just how it was before. You can only use this once per round. So if they just keep that factor with all the elixirs, then that'll be all fine. Like you can only use one elixir per round. That that's perfectly fine. Or you can just reduce the cooldown on the classic elixirs that's the only two things you can make the classics elixirs better because they made the common the rare the legendary and the epic all pay to win for that one what else we got now you see me it's pointless i don't know why it's there and and serial auxiliary it's good it charges your special weapons faster Pop shocks, it's o it's an okay type of elixir. Uh, stock options, it's actually good too. Uh, nutation negation is basically that one elixir that makes the zombies float all the way up. I don't see this any point of coming back, but I but if I happen just to mess around with my friends, I'll just put this on just to have a good choke out of it. But yeah, some of these are just basically. Like, 
okay. It's like they have good ones and bad ones. And they got the so a fun one with the with the whimsical, the nucation. I, f I feel like Trey just should have done something a little bit different with one elixirs. Just one of them to make it better or maybe get rid of anti-trapment, which I think it's stupid or even now you see me. Or even or even re or even like buff aftertaste of what it was before instead of putting it as it is now. So for the common, it's just your gen generic same thing as you had in Black Ops 3, but it has something else. We have Control Z's which turns your zombies into allies, so I find this pretty helpful. If you have a group of training and you activate this and all of them just kill each other, you'll be fine. Dead Nuclear Winter, that's a nuke in plain sight. I actually love using this in Black Ops 3, but the problem is, it's a common elixir. Like, I won't be running this too much. Like. I always run classics for high rounds or even for easter eggs, depending which one, Voyage, I use the rare legendary epic because Voyage easter egg is a disaster. But in plain sight is, in plain sight was just one of those um, crutch uh, gobble gums that people use in Black, o in Black Ops, yeah, in Black Ops 3, that if you were a corner, you have 10 seconds to be ignored by a zombie, but I don't know why it's counterpart now you see me is there, but it's stupid. License Contractor, I can't believe that I'm saying this, that it actually has a use besides points. It actually repairs your shield, so that's a plus. Phantom Reload is, is something that I haven't tested out yet. Sometimes reloading does not use ammo. I don't know what this looks like in game, so I'm going to see if I, so I'm going to try to test this out. One day, maybe I'll uh, maybe forget, but I'll certainly try to do it now or later. Sword Flare is actually pretty good, but the problem is, it's actually for one minute. And for Black Ops 3, I remember it, it was 2.5 minutes. So I don't know why they buffed the, or not buffed, nerfed the minute by, nerfed the 2.5 minutes by just a minute. Who's keeping score? It's actually pretty good. Then you got the rare. When I saw Alchemical Antithesis, I f I, it felt right to put it there. Because in Black Ops 3, that was your default. Your default gobble gums. And you don't need any other gobble gums. You don't need cashback or any other, um, any other alternative to give you a max ammo. You just have this on. And what, and what this one does is every 10 points you earn, instead of, instead of, points you earn ammo so if i use this so if i have no ammo i shoot a zombie get 10 points and i get a bullet back and it only lasts for like a minute that's that's it's it's, it's just op as f but having it as a rare as a rare elixir makes it makes it like like good but in a bad type of way like it's good though because it's it's OP and now you just need like a certain amount just for high rounds. I feel like it's perfectly perfect how it is and rare. That it shouldn't be a default. But if it was, I I, I don't know. I would just run this every time. But and then we got blood depth, which is interesting because it says instead of losing health, your points ammo loss increases each time you hit until a max amount of hit. If you have zero points, you die. So basically, I never t test this one out. So basically, I'm assuming is you equip this, all you have like let's say 10k points, and that's how many times they zombies have to hit you. Theoretically, they just hit you like 20 or something, and then when you get the zero points. One more hit will just bring you down. I'm assuming that's what it is. Extra credit gives you power up, 1250. Emulations, uh, I, I need more of those. Uh, Killjoy, it's actually pretty good. Shields up was interesting because it gives you a new shield. So I'm assuming if you have a broke shield and it disappeared, like a zombie broke your shield on any of the maps, I'm assuming if you pop this one, it just gives you automatic shield on your back. Legendary, we got Free Fire. Free Fire, it was, um, I, I, I feel like Trey basically caught this from World War II because World War II, they had Free Fire as a specialist. But having it as a, as a luxury is actually pretty okay. It's a, it's a fire, you can fire a weapon without using any bullets for 30 seconds, so that's a, 
perfect balance there. Power Cake spawns into full power. I I find that pretty useful for time. Undead Man Walking. I'm actually glad they brought this back because this is actually a, a crutch, uh, Gobble Gum slash Elixir to use to slow down the or not slow down the zombies. Make the zombies walk for like what? Oh, it's for one minute. Then I don't get this one. Wall to wall clearance. I don't know what it means. It's just a, it says wall by fire cell for 30 seconds. So I'm assuming if you buy a strife for 500. For 500 points, if you have this on, it's going to be 10 points to buy this drive. I'm assuming that's what it is. And then we got the Epic, the Cash Bag, Join the Party of Wall Power. I feel like Cash Bag should be in the Legendary, but it's in the Epic, so I find that okay, I guess. The only two that should just be there is just Join the Party and Wall Power, because Join the Party... That one, that one, I, I feel like this should be like the one that most people should rely on is if it's for easter eggs so because this one at instant activation join the party it's all players and the spectator will spawn immediately so it's base basically everybody dies you're the one guy left and when you see that on and you're ready to activate all those three people that expected you bam and it is then they're in your game and yeah i kind of find it to be pretty 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 good and pretty useful, and I'm kind of glad it has that. Then wall power, you know, the next gun you buy is just a wall gun. You just have it pack a bunch. I don't know why we can't have the equivalent version of this. Uh, what is it? Um, uh, crate power. Yeah, crate power. That's what it is. Is when you buy, um, buy a box weapon, and then when you get it, it turns pack a bunch. I don't know why we can't have its counterpart, but let's say Trey can have that for future DLCs. So for Talisman, I'm not going to go all, all over it. I'm not even going to go all over it at all. Unless you guys want me to. I mean, I guess because I, I don't get the point of uses of these because I never use them. I would use them occasionally to see what they do. But I don't find myself using all of these because some of these are not even useful. So let's not go there. So the perks. So some of these perks are just good and bad in a way and some are just eh. so we got our first perk okay i'm gonna just put all these in the modifier slot to see what we can get out of these time slip basic time slip equip cooldown rate mystery box and pack a bunch weapons appear faster greatly reduced trap and fast travel cooldown so basically you, you yeah so basically everything's done like i i should say 10 percent faster like it you buy a box and it gives you the weapon really quickly instead of usually a box it that takes like five seconds before it gives you a box gives you a weapon i meant to say but with time slip it gives you like what two seconds and then gives you a weapon then a uh, modifier is just uh it's just of uh, the specialist weapon charge elixir school down increased wep increased weapon reload speed increase Oh yeah, basically weapon reload speed increase. It's basically whatever is your whatever perk is your modifier. Whatever you have all four perks, you get speed cola. But speed cola is just a default reload in Black Ops Three. I don't know why Trey did that, but yeah, it's useful. So having time slip on the modifier wasn't that much useful for me because, like I said, I use classic elixirs, so the modifier won't be that much useful. Quirk revive. Quirk revive actually. It's actually like a good use, but a bad use in a way. It says a uh, short delay before regeneration and increased regeneration rate. Revive players faster. The problem I have with Quirk Revive is just it doesn't regenerate health that much. For some reason, I, I, I sometimes take out Quirk Revive and replace it with something else because I feel like it wouldn't be that much of a difference if I took damage and it took long to reload. I mean, not, not to reload, um, took long to regenerate just as having quick revive in the first place we got death procession which is just a rip off of a uh, vulture raid you could just only see nearby um uh, uh, see nearby enemies through walls receive screen indicators when enemies approach from all screen i mean it's perfect to have that to have like jump scares but like having this perk it's stupid and the modifiers deal in deal increased damage to special enemies weak points I mean, like, are we going to shoot exactly? Like, if, if our guns are going to aim exactly at them? I don't know. Stamina up the perk I was run with. Increased movement movement and sprint. And modifier, unlimited full sprint. 
Bam. Actually, pretty good. Player can fire weapons while sprinting. Best one yet, and that's... And it's it's just really, really good to have speed. Uh, electric Burst. Electric Cherry equivalent. Uh, reloading causes a charge. Electric charge that damage. So basically, every time you reload, there's going to be electricity, a ball of electricity around you. But the shorter the clip is, the bigger the radius. So if you have one shot, so basically, the perfect example is when you have a blunder gat, just a bare bones blunder gat, you shoot it once and it creates a big radius just because it has one shot. So let's say if you have a ray gun, if it has 20 shots, you shoot it all, it doesn't create that much, bl much blood much blast radius because of how much ammo the gun has so keep that in mind dying wish is the crutch perk right now it's basically the juggernaut of black ops 4 so dying wish instead of and instead of instead of last stand the player goes into berserk for nine seconds while berserk they're invulnerable melee damage is greater increase and uh, afterwards players left with one health and cooldown rays Increases with every use and the modifier is well uh, players will receive full health will no longer berserk and re reload so the problem is The actual time for dying wish is nine minutes so Imagine Imagine yourself like every time using your last stand it takes longer longer and longer to Get it full bar sometimes you can't tell the difference if uh, dying wish is actually full because how how like the bar is like rising up it doesn't show clearly stronghold it's the one i it's the one perk i use just to do the camping strata classify just stay on your ground defend circle uh, which brute which boots damage the armor over time while inside uh enemies kill inside defense circle also boosts damage and armor when you reload and yeah, I I don't find this. I only find this just for camping spots, and there's only two: the one in Blood of the Dead where Titan is, and the Shield Strat and Classified. Those are the only two places I find myself camping. Taurus for Taurus, uh, it's, uh, Shield blocks damage from all directions when Shield's held. It triggers a defense explosions explosion uh shield blast can knock down heavy and mini boss i find this pretty useful i don't find this useful as a modifier but it just as a perk in general so when you have it out you basically like just just basically not vulnerable it vulnerable it's just like when you have it out you won't take health damage you just take the damage on the shield granted that your shield's gonna break faster but it's also good that they're not hitting your health and Deadshot Dealer, uh, aim down sign, snap, recruit, snaps to enemies head, reduce hit spray and recoil and firing. This one, uh, and modify game damage boost when a headshot streak. I just find this pretty pathetic and useless. Like, I th I feel like Trary is trying to redeem this perk to make this perk good, but I feel like they should just give it up already. It was on Black Ops 1, and now we have it on Black Ops 2. We have it on Black Ops 3, and now we have it on Black Ops 4. And guess what? No one's gonna use it because it's so useless. How many times can people get a headshot without this perk? Enter that. Bandolier, uh, Bandolier, Bandit, it's carry increased ammo stock. Modifier refills ammo stock from ammo stock over time. So I don't find this useful as a modifier because, you know, stamina up is better. I just find this a separate perk. Just having more ammo is good. And the biggest rip off in all, Winter's Whale. When hit, a melee attack generates a frost explosion that will freeze the slow enemies nearby. And the modifier, you can gain an extra trick, extra uh, addition, and, a frost, and the frost explosion slowly fields around the player limit. The thing is, it's a, it's basically the counterpart of uh, Winter, um, not Winter's, uh, what is mine, but it's just a get a rip off because you have to wait five minutes for that thing to cool down. If only they can, like, cut that at half to 2.5 minutes, it would be kind of useful and, and more useful to have it as a modifier so you can have three in total. But right now, it's just basically useless because of the timer. Just like waiting for five minutes, you won't even, you can't even, t you won't even know if you have it or not unless a zombie will hit you. And we got meal kick. Carry additional, carry additional prime, prime weapons. That, yeah, that's basically it. Modify switch weapons faster, then the additional weapons will be saved or restored at the next meal kick per purchase, whatever. I uh, pretty useless. 
Simple as this, boys. You waste 4,000... As a modifier, 4,500 points on Mule Kick. And imagine hitting $10,000 $10, just to get the one weapon you want. Pack a punch it for 5,000. And pack quadruple pack a punch it for four times. That's 25,000. No, that's 2,500 points each. So imagine all that money is just gone to waste when you go down and, and lose your gun. All that money you spent was just all for nothing. And I feel like it's pretty pointless. But yeah, it's good how it innovated in Black Ops 1 when you have an extra gun that carries more ammo. But right now, I kind of I don't see it as that because I just use mainly wall weapons. So, yeah. And... The one perk everybody wanted to pack. <laughs> oh, I feel so sorry. PhD Slider. Slider to build up charge. Once fully charged, slides enemies to trigger an explosion and gain resistance to explosive damage. Modifier. Improved slide distance. Trap immunity while sliding. Increased explosion to damage when entering a slide with greater heights. Weapon reload speed is increased. There's a big problem with this you have to slide to build up charge and once you finally charge into an enemy it will trigger an explosion why and the basic perk itself it can't it won't let you have immunity to explosive damage like i tried this and some of my friends did try this as well like it'll just like immune it like Basically, it's just like taking off 50% of explosive damage if you have PhD slider, and I and I'm I'm and I'm just confused. Like, what would they're trying to do with this perk? If they are they trying to make it different, or are they trying to make it a different counterpart? It could have been useful if we had this on Black Ops 3. It wouldn't be any different, just from not taking explosive damage or even fall damage for that matter. But like, why would you have PhD if there's no big height? to like take fall damage off in the first place that's what i talked about this with my friends about and it's pretty pointless the only time i will only use this is just if i have using the starting pistols or using any explosives that's the only time but it only takes off like i don't know the exact number but i can just guess it may 50 percent but it doesn't let you have immunity to all explosive damage so you'll only be taking half of the explosive damage and not the 100 percent of no explosive damage it's pretty useless and this one this one this one i find this to be kind of an okayish perk secret sauce receive random perk when no longer assigned to another modifier the random perk received the modifier of the random perk received i i, I don't i don't understand why as a modifier but i find secret sauce to be an okayish type of uh, elixir like let's say if you prestige so many times and you just just and you just want to get all the other perks like you want like Vitorious Bendelier which as well, you can just at least rank up to get Secret Sauce and have all that as your perks and just get the perks you want just from that because you receive a random perk every time you buy it and it only costs two. 2500 so i find it to be a good thing and a bad thing if you waste so many points just to get on that one perk i could kind of see that as a bad thing and a useless thing but you know it's like a uh, it has its pros and cons to all these perks for sir for some of these perks i would i, I would just get rid of uh electric terror electric burst death perception uh deadshot deadshot dealer and PhD slider. That's all. That's all the perks I want to wanted to get rid of. The perks that should be buffed. Um, stronghold. I think it should be buffed a little bit. Dying wish should be buffed a little bit with the time. It could just only stay for nine minutes instead of keep adding on. Uh, quirk revive. It should get a little bit of a buff of the regeneration system. Time slip should get a little bit of a buff to like regenerate your sh your elixirs, mainly on the classic ones, faster, and your specialist too. Vitoris Taurus should get a a buff as well. Like I don't know what it should be, but it should get like a type of buff that you can do something with your shield that causes a lot of damage. Bandolier, I don't see it as a buff. Like it, it's already enough that you can carry a lot of ammo. So I don't see this as a buff. Uh, one chest round definitely needs a buff. It's just um, I, either we can carry four charges 
to use or they can just lower the duration to 2.5 minutes so that way we can have more every time we get hit and that's pretty much it so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of this commentary type of video I'm covering about elixirs and perks and yeah hope you guys enjoy uh, leave a like if you did and let me know what you think again in the comments and subscribe to my channel if you're new and my name is Henry Goes 239 and I'm signing off peace